Hello all, I'm BVG Hill. Welcome back to another episode of Gone Home, aka looking at life through the eyes of a fisheye camera lens. Because man is this wide view. Maybe some of you guys think this is good, but it's kind of trippy to me, but I'm just keeping it the way it is because that's the way the developers intended it as far as that goes. Save 25 cents. Coupons. Coupons. I mean, as far as that goes, it's not, like, game-breaking for me or anything, so... I'll just keep it the same. Got a plug. What's this plug go to? A lamp. Okay. Another lamp. A folder. Assignment. Reproductive System Worksheet 6. Okay. Female and male genitalia tests. Uh, writing something about it. What? See me. She wrote about it like it was a war story. Yeah! Setting up traps all around the house. People are just gonna die. Nice! That's uh, an interesting painting, to say the least. This is a giant closet. Are these all records? Records and like extra copies of his book that apparently sold like shit. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyways. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Sincerely, Mary Shooter. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Badka. So she's basically using this Daniel guy apparently for his uh for his Nintendo which let's be honest that's as good a reason as any to use someone Dear Mr. Greenbrier I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow up to the Accidental Pariah despite the low sales of the Accidental Savior we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It's been a pleasure working as your publisher. We wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. To sincerely, Donald Fripps, publisher, Mercury Books, Inc. Incorporated. Good old Irish whiskey. That's a very interesting painting. I don't even really know what's going on. It's like a teapot. Some hard-boiled eggs, maybe. What do I know? I don't know anything. What do we got going on over here? Let's turn the lamp on. What's this? Oh, Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Okay. Some more coupons. Nothing. A letter. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want it, want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. You. Going to freaking Hadouken or Kamehameha right in the face. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but 
All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. You made a friend. Good for you, Sam. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. The attic. Open sesame! Okay. Not a viable option. Some miscellaneous paper. Newspaper clipping. Give me that. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke, smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 and 5 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly into Thursday depending on speed of progress according to the forestry service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in drier months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel in involved, said senior conserv conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. A pack of cards. Right on. Nothing. Nothing. The light switch? We do. Switch in the light. Personal calendar. Uh, couples something or other. Cooking class. Couples bowling? Bowling. Yeah, cooking class. Bowling. Right. Comb. Yo. Exam 4. A, do you have blah, blah, blah. It's more stuff with the prescribed burn. If you want to read that, please pause the video to read it. Certain ones I am not going to read. Bratmobile. Oh, that's neat. Who is making that noise? It's weird hanging out with girls. What the fuck? Daniel was around ever since I was little, and... Other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Okay, sweet. Radiation area. Is this Sam's room? Sam, you left your TV on, you idiot. What are you doing? Sweet room, though. Adventurous the cat returns. Someone jacked the Super Nintendo. Chun Li moves. Aww. Keeping studied up. Screw it, we'll listen to music. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't listen to music. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you, Mrs. Blacklock. English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed. Crumpled note. Critchville High School disciplinary referral. Mr. Brenchley observed Ms. DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Ms. DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. 
Miss DeSoto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Ms. DeSoto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Ms. DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Right. Sam, come on. What are you doing, you rebel? It's just a shirt, though. I think it's kind of dumb that schools are so harsh on stuff like that, you know? Groove. I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You'd better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Mrow. Sweet. What do we got? What's this? King's Labyrinth. It's a new chapter. Go ahead and read that if you want. Holy Bible. Come on. Come on. I want to get that. Collar. <coughs> Mitten. Samantha. Special, adorable, merry, affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, admirable. Cool. Got the combo to that locker in here anywhere, Sam? Huh? Fletcher, five, shop one, C minus. Not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family portrait. Per reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents, Names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. Samantha's getting lazy, apparently. Brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Read note. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? I, hey, we found that ticket. Came out last weekend, and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom's supposed to cook dinner for us, tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Ha ha ha. Alright, see you then. <laughs> Read strongly worded leather. I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is, frankly, absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter Samantha. Stop, Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Lols. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. I thought he said it was no rush. It annoys the hell out of me. What, oh, what's this? Grab pillow. Boom. What's this? Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beepers but we're cooler than them because guess what they can't put this on a beeper your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better maybe I should just stick to writing though haha <laughs> I like it how did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens I'm looking at mr. fish right now I feel like he would probably have lots of cats also like like his secret I shame what like his secret shame as he watches 90210 religiously I'll guess I'll ask him about it after class he said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210 but I could see in his eyes he was lying 
All right, well, let's go back then and explore this room. What you got for me? What you got for me? What you got for... That's really nicely wrapped pictures for the insides of these. Lots of jeans and shirts, pants. And... Oh, no. Oh, barf. <laughs> Whoops. Put that back where I found it. I feel like that's probably a safe assumption. Aw, how adorable. Read letter. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our own down periods. I'm not going to read this. You guys can read it if you'd like. With that, I just can't be asked to try and read that. No thanks. Examine bookmark. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. Walt Whitman leaves a grass. I totally ruined everything. Wrecked it. I'm turning all these lights on on purpose now. I've got a new purpose in life. Watercolor techniques. literally nothing else in here is there yeah, there's nothing else in here fine is this the bathroom el bathroom can't open any of these comb toothpaste brush toothbrush cup band-aids shaving cream fine second part this is a big bathroom holy crap good grief Ugh. after the honeymoon rediscovering your spouse personally spiritually sexually Reverend Alexander Michaels <laughs> there we go Leave that run. This door is slightly ajar. What's going on in here? Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sammy, did you run away? What's this? Hey Sam! You were asking uh, what my J. J. Rotka ribbons meant? Here is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Sighting journal. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. Also ghost milk. Ooh. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm... In attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, successful night. Halloween show. The Misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costumes. Stygian Lounge. 1029, 9 p.m. 306 West Franklin, downtown. See you there, Lonnie. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. 
Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Tell what? Does Sam have a crush? I think she does. She's got a crush on Lonnie. <laughs> Lonnie. Holy crap! I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Sewing room, upstairs hall, mom and dad's room. Bathroom, closet. Creepy passage. Oh my god, I have got to see this. We're skipping sixth. So you skipped class to come all the way back here. Oh, what a witch costume. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Oh. Cool. All right, well, on that note, next episode we will... We will search the secret passage and find ghosts and stuff. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button also down below. And leave me a comment letting me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions you might have for games you'd like to see me play in the future. And last but not least, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat, and I will see you in the next one. See you later.